Lesson 39, using the distributive property to simplify rational expressions. So I'm just going to start with an example. Um, well, I guess we should write what a, a rational expression is. Let's just write the definition. A rational expression is just an expression that has uh, variables in the denominator. So here's an example. Simplify x squared divided by y squared, parentheses, x squared divided by y, plus 3y cubed divided by m, end parentheses. So we're using the distributive property. We're going to take this factor on the outside, x squared divided by y squared, and we're going to times it by each of the addends on the inside. So we have x squared over y squared times the first one, x squared over y. Then we put plus, and we want x squared over y squared times 3y cubed over m. Then we simplify each of our um, products. We find the product. So x squared times x squared is x to the fourth divided by y cubed. Plus, <coughs> here we can cancel y squared. So we just get y in the numerator. So we have three x squared y divided by m. Then we need to find the uh, exclusions. That means what cannot be in the denominator. We look at the beginning and at the end. We have y's and m's. So we have to put a little comma after our answer and put y comma m cannot equal zero. That means neither of these can equal zero because we can't have zero in the denominator. Here's another example. b cubed divided by d to the negative three. Parentheses, two b squared divided by d minus f to the negative third d divided by b and your parentheses. Now we're gonna take what's on the the factor on the outside. Now d to the negative cubed just means d cubed. So we have b cubed d cubed times the first term, 2b squared divided by d. Then we subtract b cubed d cubed times, if you notice you have an f to the negative third, that goes down to the bottom to be f cubed. So we're gonna have d divided by f cubed b. We simplify each of these, um, the minuend and subterhend. We can cancel one of the d's to get d squared. So we have 2b to the fifth d squared. So we can add the exponents on the b's. Minus, we can cancel one of the b's, make it b squared. So we have b squared times d to the fourth d cubed times d, all divided by f cubed. Now we have to look at the beginning. We have d's and b's, and then at the end we have f's. So d, b, and f cannot equal zero. You have to list all of the denominators if they're in the beginning or the end in your answer, so in your uh, simplification. So this is the full answer for the simplifying of this problem. That's the end of the lesson.